you, Mr. Batten. One minute. Um, and it's long been the reality that the USA could in, uh, intercept any electronic communication anywhere in the world. Uh, but the advent of uh, the internet and digital communications has created a whole new treasure trove of information that can be plundered by the security services. Uh, the reason that so many terrorist attacks in the UK and elsewhere have been thwarted is precisely because the security services have accessed the terrorist communications. Now that's on the plus side, but on the minus side, the state now has the technical means to know almost everything about individual citizens. Now the challenge for democratic nation states is to ensure that access to personal information is only used according to strict, legally established and internationally observed rules that protect the individual from the state. But what we don't need is the EU using this issue to further assert its pretensions to be a political state. Uh, equally, it doesn't help that the British government is now nothing more than a lapdog of the USA. Ms. Intervelt has a point. Please make it. A question to Mr. Batten. The, the colleague just said, and this is often assumed, um, that uh, this massive data collection is very effective uh, in, as you said, uh, thwarting terrorist attacks. However, I, I ask you, um, what do you say then about the fact that for years um, there has been this massive data collection, and yet um, the attacks 9-11, Mumbai, Oslo, Toulouse, Madrid, London, uh, the Dutch killing of Theo van Gogh, uh, the donor killings uh, in, in Germany, all the, uh, the perpetrators, the killers, were known to the secret services. So how effective is it really, if these people were known, if we have so much information, how was it possible that they were not detected? Um, I think it was the IRA that said to the security services, you have to win every time, we only have to win once. The security services have a tremendously difficult job in actually um, thwarting these attacks. And in the UK, we know that there have been many, some we know about, some we don't know about, which have been stopped because of the, um, uh, the security services' ability to look at people's communications. I think there's two issues here. There's the issue of what they can do looking at people's communications and this totally indiscriminate collection of information on everybody, which I think is extremely dangerous. Can you imagine if Hitler, Stalin or Mao had access to this information? So I don't think I'm disagreeing with you. Uh, I, think, uh, I think we probably agree more than we disagree on this. Oh, sir, you have the floor. 